Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, and blessed be the name of the Lord God Most High, the King of all kings, and the Lord of lords. Hallelujah. Precious saints of the living God, greetings to you all in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, the great I am, the I am that I am, almighty God, the ancient of days, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. Precious saints of the living God, good morning to you all and greetings to you all in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I welcome you all this morning to our global morning glory word and prayer encounter hour. Wherever you are this morning, it is my prayer that as you connect with us, you will be blessed immensely in the name of Jesus. May the Lord bless you all this morning. And we thank God for the grace that he has given us and ushered us into day number 14 of the month of September, which is our month of uncommon harvest. May the Lord bless you this morning as you join us in this encounter. I believe that your harvest will be manifested in the name of Jesus. The Lord bless you. It is our month of harvest and we are praying through the whole of this month of september so that god will release our harvest that which has been held by the enemy that which has been delayed our harvest shall be released as we all come to the place of prayer this morning in this encounter in the name of jesus so the lord bless you this morning i welcome you to join us now on youtube and on facebook live for an encounter in the name of jesus hallelujah Praise be to God in the highest. Terebo shanta bahaya. Midabo shada baha. I pray that wherever you are this morning, you will connect with us and you shall be blessed immensely in the name of Jesus. God richly bless you all this morning. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you this morning for life and the preservation of life that you don't only give, but you also preserve what you give. We thank you for the protection and the preservation of our lives and the grace that you have given us this morning. Your mercies have been bestowed upon us. The spirit of life and grace and abundant life has been given to us and we are grateful for the things that you have done for us. We ask that this morning you take preeminence over this encounter. Father, let yokes be broken as the entrance of your word comes forth and let Revival take place in the lives of your people. Cause your people to come to their place of receiving their harvest in Jesus' mighty name. I pray that Father, you will speak through me and I will be a blessing to your people in Jesus' mighty name. I pray with thanksgiving. May the Lord bless his word as I preach in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. People of God, the Lord bless you. Welcome to you all. Once again, it's Pastor Samuel from House of Prayer for All Nations Ministries End Time Revival Prayer City. The Lord bless you and bless you and bless you. Thank you for connecting with us this morning. And I pray that we all will have an encounter in the presence of God in Jesus' mighty, mighty name. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. So by the grace of God, uh, I continue the message on... Um, uh, I continue the message on activating our uncommon harvest and I will continue today by the grace of God and uh, it is my prayer that as uh, as we continue in this message God will release our faith our harvest unto us like never before in the name of Jesus hallelujah praise be to God forevermore and so today I will talk about understanding and revelation that is in relation to our harvest when we get understanding and revelation knowledge of what god is doing in this season we will understand our harvest and the things that we have to do in relation to having revelation of god's goodness and god's grace upon our lives in this season hallelujah and so our scripture for this morning can be found in the book of in the book of Revelation chapter number 1 reading from the verse number 1 and 2 Revelation chapter 1 reading from the verse number 1 and 2 praise be to God in the highest 
It is my prayer, like I said, that God will give us revelation, knowledge, and understanding of the times that we are living in, the times and the seasons that we are living in. It is our understanding and the revelation that we have in God that gives us the things that we desire of God. When we understand the times and the seasons that we live in and we have revelation knowledge in God, it propels us into receiving our divine manifestation. And so I pray in the name of the Lord Jesus that God you give you and I revelation and understanding of our season and of our harvest. Hallelujah. Praise be to God forevermore. May the Lord bless you all in Jesus' name. So Revelation chapter number one, reading from the verse number seven, the verse number one to the verse number two. Praise be to God forevermore. Revelations one, one and two. Let's hear the word of God. The Bible says that the revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him to show his servant things which must shortly come to pass. And he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant John, hallelujah, who bear record of the word of God and of the testimony of Jesus Christ and of all things that he saw, hallelujah. Praise be to God forevermore. I will add the verse number three to it. And the Bible says in the verse three, he says, blessed is he that read it and they that hear the words of this prophecy and keep those things which are written therein. For the time is at hand. Hallelujah. Praise be to God forevermore. May the Lord bless his word once again in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. People of God, this is the word of God for us this morning. Understanding the times and the seasons that we live in gives us the ability to enter into our harvest. Understanding and having revelation of the seasonalities and the times that we find ourselves in, it gives us the power to know the things that is to come and to know how we will receive our harvest. I pray in the name of Jesus. I prophesy upon you by the power of the Holy Ghost that may God give you revelation and understanding, revelation knowledge in God and understanding in God for the times that we are living in for your harvest to be released. When you understand the times and the seasons that we live in and you have revelation of what God is doing in this day and age, in this era, in this dispensation that we find ourselves in, your harvest will come without the enemy delay it and without the enemy opposing it and without the enemy contending against your harvest so the scripture that we just read the bible says that he said the revelation of jesus christ which god gave unto him the revelation of jesus christ which god gave unto him to show his servant who is that servant his servant john so it was John who was the writer of the book of Revelation. And the Bible says that God gave the revelation of Jesus Christ unto John the Apostle. Hallelujah. You and I, there is a revelation and understanding that God has given us in this our season of harvest. There is a revelation and understanding of what God is about to do in these end times and in these last days which is in relation and which is in connection to our harvest and our blessings hallelujah for our blessings and our harvest they are spiritual blessings they are not just material blessings they are not just physical blessings they are spiritual blessings which god has given to us in his son jesus christ and so john the apostle was praying on the last day and the Bible says that he was translated into the spirit realm, into the realms of the supernatural. And the Bible says that, and God gave the revelation of who Jesus Christ is and the things that was to come to pass, even in these last days concerning our lives, concerning our eternal salvation, concerning our eternity. Hallelujah. And concerning our harvest, the things that we are going to 
enjoy the privileges and the things that we are going to receive when Jesus Christ returns back again for the second time. I pray in the name of the Lord Jesus that may God give you and I revelation knowledge, uh, revelation knowledge and understanding of Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. And as we begin to behold the revelation of who Jesus is, our harvest is released. You see, it is at the place where we have understanding and revelation of who Jesus is that it is at this place where we receive uh, our harvest. The revelation and the understanding and the knowledge of God that you have through his son Jesus Christ of who Jesus Christ is to you and to your life and to everything that pertains to life and godliness. It is at this place when you behold the mystery of Jesus and the revelation that you that you have about Jesus. It is at this place that when you receive that, that revelation from God, from the Holy Spirit, it is that this revelation that gives and brings your harvest to you. I decree over your life that God is giving you the grace and the anointing to understand and to have the knowledge of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Many people are living in these last days without knowing and having revelation of who Jesus is. They are just living anyhow. They don't understand the times that we live in. They don't understand the seasons and the era and the dispensation that we find ourselves in. We are living in the end times and in order for you to receive your harvest, it is not by the arm of the flesh. It is not by the, uh, the will of man. It is not by our strength. It it is not by our credentials. It is not by our abilities. It is not by our potentials. It is not by anything that we have or anything that we can do in our power. But it is by the revelation that we have in God that it is not by might nor by power, but it is by the Spirit of the Lord God Almighty. I pray in the name of the Lord Jesus uh, that may God give you revelation, deep revelation and mystery of the and, and understanding of the times that we are living in and by this by this beholdment in God it is at this place where our harvest is released our spiritual harvest is released our physical harvest is released our blessings and our possessions come speedily in the name of Jesus I pray and prophesy upon your life this morning may God give you understanding and revelation of your harvest hallelujah when you understand the prophecy and the things that God has spoken concerning your life and has spoken concerning these last days and has spoken concerning these end times. You will walk in the power and in the knowledge of God and in the wisdom of God. I pray in the name of Jesus. Uh, may this grace be endowed upon you. May this grace be manifested upon you. May this grace be released upon you. May this grace be injected into your spiritual mind for you to understand that when you come to this place of revelation, knowledge in God, you will rise up above every storms of life. You will rise up above the attacks of the enemy, above the activities of the kingdom of darkness. I prophesy upon your life this morning that God is giving you the anointing and the revelation and the understanding of the Lord Jesus Christ like never before. In the name of the Lord Jesus, uh, receive that grace and that audacity now. Receive that grace and that power now. God is giving you that grace and that power and that that uh, that grace in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. That grace to understand him. That grace to know him more and more. That grace to know that he is the author and the finisher of your faith. Hallelujah. I pray in the name of Jesus uh, that may that grace come upon you now because it is at this place when you get the understanding and the revelation of who Jesus is and why God gave Jesus unto us, you will walk in the power and in the audacity of God's grace in your life. I pray in the name of Jesus that this grace is manifesting upon you. This grace to know who Jesus is as the scripture reveals. He said he gave it unto John. He gave it unto his servants. So his servants, you and I, we are servants. We are servants of the living God. And he has given us the revelation 
of who Jesus Christ is and the things which must shortly happen. The things which must shortly happen comprises of our harvest, comprises of the things that are going to happen, even evil things that are going to happen. But I pray in the name of Jesus that you and I, because we will have revelation, knowledge, and understanding of God uh, through His Son, Jesus Christ, anything that the enemy plots against us shall be revealed unto us, just like it was revealed to John the Apostle in the island of Patmos. Everything that the enemy does against us in our in this our season of harvest and in the even the, the, the blessings and the things that are yet to come, which is ahead of us, which God is going to show it unto us that pertains to our restoration, our redemption, and our eternity, and our peace, our joy, and our harmony, and our tranquility. God is going to reveal it unto us. And it does not matter what the enemy does against you. It does not matter what the enemy does against the work of your hands, your finances, your health, uh, uh, your dreams, your aspiration, your business, your going out, your coming in, uh, everything about your life. It does not matter what the enemy does against you. As long as you will walk and have the beholdment and the revelation and the understanding of who Jesus is and you are and you you have Jesus in you uh, you will overcome i see you overcoming and i see you entering into your harvest i see you entering into your possession by the revelation and the understanding that you have in Jesus Christ receive that grace and that power now i want you to lift up your voice begin to pray as we begin to pray right now, may God release uh, revelation, knowledge, and understanding. The spirit of revelation, knowledge, and understanding upon you. Lift up your voice and begin to pray. In the name of Jesus, uh, the power and the revelation and the understanding and the knowledge of God uh, for you to enter into your season has been released now. As you are praying right now, you will re receive that grace now in the name of Jesus. Uh, lift up your voice and pray. Madush kapaya, zeneme atowa kapa, yanda badadadaha, ye badadabazi atayanamaha. In the name of Jesus. So in the verse 2, the Bible says, He said, Who bear record of the word of God and of the testimony of Jesus Christ and of all things that he saw. You see, when we bear record of the word of God, who is Jesus? Because Jesus is the word of God. When we understand who Jesus is, being the word of God, being the wisdom of God, being the counsel of God, when we understand it by revelation through the Holy Spirit and bear record of who he is and of his, the testimony of Jesus Christ, we will begin to see and God will begin to reveal things to us that are yet to come. Hallelujah. Praise be to God forevermore. It is the revelation that we have in God that gives us the eyes of the eagle, that gives us the eyes of the prophetic, for us to see things that will come, and the things that even the enemy has plotted against our, our harvest. But I decree in the name of the Lord Jesus, uh, as the word of God declares, that when we bear record of it, uh, the, of the testimony of the Lord Jesus, uh, which is the spirit of prophecy, uh, may that power come upon you. May that power catapult you into your harvest. May that grace catapult you into your harvest. May that uh, that grace catapult you into your freedom, into your emancipation, into your deliverance, into your, uh, your ascension, into every area of your life that pertains to life and godliness. Receive the grace to bear the record of Jesus Christ. Receive the grace to bear record of the Lord Jesus Christ. And receive the grace to bear the testimony of our Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Then in the verse 3, he said that blessed is he that readeth 
And he that heareth the words of this prophecy and keeps these things which are written therein, for the time is at hand. People of God, the time is at hand. The time is short. The time is at hand. And this is the time we need to stand in the power of the revelation and the understanding of the kingdom and of God and His Son, Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit. And when we read the word and we bear record and the testimony of our Lord Jesus Christ, you and I, we will enter into our harvest. We will enter into our harvest. And I see the harvest of God's glory coming upon us. As, uh, as we bear the record uh, of who Jesus is uh, and testify of who Jesus is uh, and as we read uh, what is that being written in the word uh, and keep it the, those things that are in the word and abide in the word and walk in the power of the word we will enter our manifestation we will enter our season of harvest I decree over your life uh, that as we pray right now uh, that God gives us the grace uh, to bear the record and the testimony of our Lord Jesus Christ and to be obedient and diligent uh, to stay in the word uh, to testify of the word of the Lord Jesus uh, unto the people uh, unto uh, unto the nations uh, you and I we will be saved uh, we will enter into our our salvation we will enter into our deliverance we will enter into our, our harmony we will enter into our peace uh, we will enter into our harvest and our joy I decree that that grace is coming upon you the grace uh, to be obedient the grace uh, to be diligent the grace uh, to be faithful to stay uh, uh, in the word of the Lord uh, and to abide in his word uh, and also to bear the record of the Lord Jesus and to walk in the revelation and the understanding of knowing him in the name of Jesus receive that grace and that power now receive that grace and that power now Lekuta bayantana mahaya lift up your voice and pray for this grace for this grace is coming upon you it is coming upon you mighty mightily there is an anointing that god is releasing right now because the time is at hand the time is short with the things that we are seeing with even great men and women that are being called into glory these are all indications these are all signs uh, these are all things that, that god is showing to us uh, that jesus is is about to be revealed once again the second coming of the lord jesus uh, is at hand uh, and i speak and i prophesy upon your life that may the lord god give you the power to stay in the place of having revelation of who Jesus is and the understanding to know him and also to bear the testimony of the Lord Jesus Christ for your harvest and your blessings, your salvation and your deliverance to be manifested. In the name of Jesus, may the Lord bless you. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord bless you as you behold the revelation and the understanding and the knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ that catapults us into our have it in Jesus mighty name receive this grace and this power now in the name of Jesus father I pray for your people this morning as your word has come in the name of Jesus cause us oh Lord that father we will be obedient that father we will stay in the place of bearing record for the Lord Jesus Christ that we will witness we will witness Jesus unto the nations that by the revelation that we have of you we will also live according to your will and we will walk and abide in you so that we will become partakers of your kingdom power and glory and the harvest that you are releasing upon us even in these end times and in these last days i decree in, in the name of jesus over the lives of your people cause us all that we may be obedient that we may be diligent that we will obey and do that which god is calling us to do in the name of jesus father bless us immensely as we obey and as we do that which you have ordained for us to do in these seasons and in these times in the name of jesus cause the harvest to be released upon us cause our harvest to be released as we become obedient and as we walk in the revelation and the understanding and the knowledge of who jesus is that reveals our harvest in jesus mighty name i pray for the sick heal the sick touch the oppressed set the captives free those that are oppressed depressed tormented afflicted by the enemy i decree that father as we stay in the understanding of who jesus is to us and his revelation unto us cause us 
and our bodies to be healed. Heal your people and transform their lives. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray with thanksgiving. Amen and amen. Thank you, Father, for answered prayer. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen and amen. The Lord bless you, people of God. It is my prayer that as we walk in the understanding and the revelation of who Jesus is, it brings our harvest to manifestation. Receive your harvest now. Receive your harvest now. In the name of the Lord Jesus. God richly bless you. Hallelujah. Pastor Sam from House of Prayer for All Nations Ministries and Time Revival Prayer City. May the Lord bless you and may the Lord make his face to shine upon you. And may you walk in miracles and the supernatural in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Until I come your way again with another edition of the Morning Glory Word of Exhortation Encounter Hour. May the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Amen.